The NBA is now over 71 years old, having a fascinating history full of facts, events, and honors. People are constantly searching for crazy things about their favorite players or teams. Thousands of facts can be found all over the internet. If you enjoy odd and interesting things, there are some really unique and crazy facts about NBA players that might pique your interest. So today, we're going to be counting down the top 10 things you didn't know about NBA players. Stick around till the end as there are some unbelievable things about NBA players that you might not know. Once an NBA player was drafted when he was so young that his parents had to sign his first contract. Yeah. The kid we are talking about is Kobe Bryant. Before the NBA made the rule requiring players to be one year removed from high school before being drafted, Kobe Bryant was drafted right out of high school. Bryant was not yet 18, so he was considered a minor in the United States and thus could not sign his first contract. As a result, his parents agreed to the contract and co-signed it. Next up is one of the most dominant players on the planet right now, LeBron James, who uses his left hand to eat and write. He has ambidextrous abilities. LeBron James shoots with his right hand and is generally thought to be right-handed, but he actually uses his left hand for almost everything else. When asked about it, he said that as a kid, he tried to imitate his idols Michael Jordan and Penny Hardaway by shooting with his right hand because they did. Imagine if LeBron started shooting with his left hand as well. How much fire do you expect? The strangest thing about having a hidden physical idiosyncrasy known as mixed handedness is that if you work in the NBA, it's actually not that strange. According to the Wall Street Journal, about 8% of the league's all-stars have written with one hand while playing with the other over the last decade. A professional golfer recently claimed that playing alongside an NBA player was beneficial to his game. Let us dispel your awe. He is, in fact, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan began playing golf when he joined the Chicago Bulls in the NBA. A chance invitation from the friends piqued his interest in the sport, which he continued to pursue even after retirement. Jordan, of course, is not a professional golfer and has a handicap. Michael Jordan is well known for being a fierce competitor. I mean, isn't that what made him great? But we often wonder how a sports megastar of his stature maintains his competitive juices and stimulates his winning needs after retiring from basketball. The answer is simple. You find another sport, ideally one that is less physically demanding. Even if you haven't seen the documentary The Last Dance, Michael Jordan's passion for golf is well known. Even during his NBA career, the six-time champion enjoyed a round or two on the golf course to unwind. Only Jordan's games weren't exactly relaxing, and the stakes were always high, whether it was for betting or bragging rights. Now, the 58-year-old has revealed why he is so passionate about golf, and it demonstrates that those competitive juices are still coursing through his veins. To put it simply, MJ is wired differently than the rest of us, as evidenced by his fascinating interview with NBA star Steph Curry. I got into golf primarily because it is the most difficult game to play from a competitive standpoint," Jordan told Curry during their Golf Channel interview. To your surprise, the NBA's shortest player and its tallest player both played for the same team at one point. 5-foot-3-inch Muggsy Bogues holds the record for being the NBA's shortest player. Muggsy was a fantastic athlete known for his steals. He was so small that he went through a player's legs in one of the plays. He was a short backer who was underappreciated. 7 foot 6 inches Manute Bull, on the other hand, is the NBA's tallest player. He was a fantastic rebounder and a shot blocker. He was a three point shooter. They both played for the Washington Bullets during the 1987 1988 season. This next NBA player has only nine fingers, which is a truly astonishing fact. Meet Gerald Green. Gerald Green, a part of the Houston Rockets, was born with 10 fingers but lost one as a result of an accident when he was younger. Gerald Green was in 6th grade and was wearing his mother's class ring while shooting hoops on a makeshift rim on top of a doorway. When Green went up to dunk, the ring caught on an exposed nail and ripped the flesh off his finger all the way down to the bone. The ring finger on his right hand had to be amputated at the middle knuckle by doctors. It's as bad as it sounds. Since entering the NBA, he never had a four-game winning streak. In his eighth year, Team USA and the Bulls finally changed it. Guess the player? It's none other than Zach Levine. Zach Levine is a fantastic player who has recently made a name for himself in the NBA. 
Levine has evolved into a star player for the Bulls, earning All-Star honors in 2020 after establishing himself as a high flyer in the league by winning two straight slam dunk contests. Unfortunately, despite his being good at the game, his efforts did not always result in victories. Levine has never had a four-game winning streak in the NBA since his debut. Levine was part of the Bulls' long, rebuilding process during which they struggled to put wins on the board. Fortunately for Levine, he was able to enjoy his first NBA four-game winning streak. After accomplishing this feat with Team USA at the Tokyo Olympics, he quickly repeated it in the NBA season. The famous, talented NBA player whom the entire world regards as fierce, brave, cool, and collected cannot have a spider in his path without feeling a rush of panic. Who would have guessed it? Derrick Rose is well known for his aversion to spiders as well as needles. He missed about five minutes of a game his freshman year to avoid having stitches for an injury he sustained during the game. One of the best players in the world has never met his real father. It's a big surprise that LeBron James is that star. When LeBron James was born, his mother was 16 years old, his biological father refused to raise him, and LeBron was raised solely by his mother. On the other hand, his surrogate father served three years in prison for cocaine trafficking and other crimes. So it's safe to say that LeBron grew up without a father and understands the value of a father in a child's life. He is a wonderful father who would never subject his children to the same. It's strange that a player of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's stature never won the All-Star Game MVP award during his entire career. Kareem is one of the game's best scorers. In fact, he currently holds the NBA's all-time scoring record with 38,387 points. He also has a trophy case full of awards including six NBA championships, two final MVPs, 15 All-NBA team selections. 11 all-defensive team selections, and numerous others. He also has been named to 19 All-Star teams. Among those 19 selections, Kareem was never named All-Star Game MVP. His averages in the All-Star Game are 13.9 points and 8.3 rebounds per game. His best performance was in the 1976 All-Star Game when he had 22 points and 15 rebounds. Kareem also shown in the 1984 All-Star Game scoring 25 points and grabbing 13 rebounds. It's worth noting that all these strong performances came against a losing team. Most of the time, the league MVP is sure to make the All-NBA first team. But that wasn't true for Dave Cowens, who made the All-Star team eight times. He averaged 20.5 points, 16.2 rebounds, and 4.1 assists per game during the year he won MVP. Even though he got the award he deserved, Cowens was left off the All-NBA first team for that season. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was picked instead of him. He averaged 30.2 points, 16.1 rebounds, and 5.0 assists per game. He was put on the All-NBA second team because of this. But now that we think about it, Cowens got the MVP award because of how much he helped his team. Even though this says a lot, it doesn't always mean that you are the best in your league. That's all we have for you today, everyone. Thank you all for watching. Let us know in the comments down below which NBA player fact you thought was the most surprising. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that notification button so that you never miss out on another one of our videos. Until next time.